Welcome back to the Banner Saga 2. What annoying pieces of shit. Let's try and win this though. Christ, their abilities are just so damn annoying though. I could let them die, I guess.
I need to take down the size armor a bit. I've avoided fighting injured people, but I guess I might have no choice. We did kill a lot of Dredge, though. The Ravens are making good time despite growing tired. Pressing in, how a lot. Well, a desperate situation, huh? Growing even more desperate, I guess. Could be worse. We've got to clear those rocks behind us. Oh, I see. You have to do it yourself. Very well.
He can do enough damage. That's not his problem.
Yeah, get the fuck out. Could have stood hot, but no point. The old Ford. Can almost make out the but there seems this open line between you and it. The crew moral bar world leader speaks up. This reminds me of an amb the ambush I sprung at Talon, the crazy chieftain of men I ever fought. His fighters were all strung out entirely like us. One small trick would have ruined our ambush. But lucky for us, they never figured it out. What are you getting at? Don't make me regret this. <laughs> You're too young to have regrets. I've only had two in my life. One was sleeping too close to the fire in a great hall after eating this for 12 days straight. I'll tell you the second another time. Well, will he make it back? I need him to make it back. Gods, of all places to make a final stand, I bring us to the old fort. A human prince that should have crumbled a hundred years ago. We need water and sleep. Well, make it. These people will help us. Shield wall is here. Thank you, safe. I think commanders here will find no one forms a as a large group of humans approach from the well. It's not mercenary, so you don't look worth a damn, let alone calling you reach for your axe, but if you spear me clear, it shouldn't be easy. The last thing we need is to spill each other's blood before that dark wall or the dredge get their chance, yeah? Dredge. Well, we are charged with keeping this route open for the clans that went to our brand, so we know we are going to be killing as many of the battle leader, I'm just a skirmisher like all the rest here. I'm proud of myself for not running off already. Plain and simple. You know how to fight, so tell us how to do it and we'll do it. Got fighters who could use some tips or encouragement. Maybe we could build some stake walls with parts of buildings. Up to you. Can't believe it, can you? <laughs> One of these days, I'll... All of you will realize there's only one thing to offer than an old war, war leader on a mission. They all made it, actually. But, hey. Oh, well, those I sent, anyway. Alright, so they're all rested. <laughs> We're exhausted. You never had to get us this far, but you did. 
They're making a stand. They're making a stand, so it already has. Just when I think you ate everything, you say something that shows you haven't given up on all the rest of us. She'll main tights and straps on her armor while glaring at you with red rimmed eyes. If you got to say something, say it. We don't have to be here, we could leave right now. Whoever's after us will roll through here without slowing, we'd be caught and open. Then we can leave that damn cart here, let the dredge have it. I gave an oath too. An oath isn't worth all our fucking lives. That's exactly what an oath is worth. I don't want to die, not yet, and I don't want you to die. Talk like this sort of within the company, but you turn your head, giving her a moment to collect herself. What would you do if the person you followed for years when it's no longer the same? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's happening to me. You said it yourself, we'll be dead soon. What have you come up with? There's a voice in my head, growing louder. I'm fighting to keep it quiet. Bellower's voice, probably. But Bellower's dead, his body, he's asleep. I think the arrow keeps him that way. These dreams are things he's seen. The Vaka did something to betray him. They're working with the Sunder? I think so, but this has much to do with Iwan and Juno. They did something. Something bad. I don't think even Zephyr knows what they did. So what does this all mean? I don't know. I can figure it as much still feels better knowing I'm not the only one in the dark. Guess we'll be all in the dark soon enough. Scout's horn signal all the fighters to the bridge. If we make it through this, someone man and heart is going to answer to me. Someone will. Their droning sound shake the ground in wonder if all four can standing. You finally hear some humans running away, but your ravens stand firm against the impossible odds. You grant yourself a moment to cry for it. Suddenly, the tall wall of dredge warriors begins to move. What the fuck? <laughs> what in the literal fuck? Well, it doesn't matter. We will make our stand here. This is our last stand then. And Nichols? But he's dead. Don't be fooled, that is Nichols, but Eyeless. Eyeless. He's weak. Hey, we killed the Sunder. Be proud. Now let's finish the job.
This crazy bitch needs to die. She's bugged. I could have ended that fucking fight right now. He's dead. Eyeless falls to the ground, suddenly the cat sounds a battle quiet and in the front bridge over the left is a shot. A group of dredge guards break through the front finger and the eyeless fire. You see all her arm. The sun is still alive.
On me. Today we kill Asunder. Okay, that is not gonna happen. I guess I should withdraw. Yeah, I should have withdrawn. Actually, that was the wrong dialogue option. All right, then. Eyeless it is then. No fucking around this time. <laughs> nope. I bring the best people I have. What the hell? Uh, huh. Well, game's bugged. Not much to be done about that. Go see Insaniad.